In this video I'm going to show you how to add another column to a subform which will calculate a value based on other values in other columns in the subform. In this case what we have here is a restaurant uh, reservation database and at the top we have all the information about a customer and underneath here are the items that they've ordered during their time in the restaurant, the amount of each of the items that they've had and the unit price, the price that one of those items would cost. And what we want to do here is to add an extra column at the end which will calculate the total price for each of those items that they've, they've had. And in this case uh, they've had two lots of chicken and chips at three pounds each and we'd expect six pounds to be over here in this column. So the first thing we have to do is to add this extra column and that's done by simply going into design view and then what I'll do here is just to, to drag this out a little bit to give us a bit more space and so we can actually see the, the design of the subform down here and I'm going to click to the bottom of the subform and I'm going to add another field here under the price field that already exists so we go and get a text box from over here in our toolbox this is very similar to, to doing things in a spreadsheet as well just click here and a new field appears and uh, we can drag that around uh, to make it fit wherever we want it to be. And at the minute it's very unhelpfully called text date. So what I'm going to do is to delete that and call it item price. Uh, there we have. And in this box here where it currently says unbound, what we want to have there is, is the calculation of price times quantity. And the way we do that again is very similar to, to being in a spreadsheet. We have to add a formula and the formula in this case also begins with equals and then we need to say price times quantity now in order to signify that price and quantity are both fields in our, our database we enclose them in square brackets so we put square brackets price close square brackets and we put the multiplication sign which is the, the little asterisk and then again quantity also in square brackets like that and close that down. So that will multiply uh, the price field and the quantity field together and the last thing we want to do is to say that in fact the, the result of that calculation is in pounds in currency and so what we do then is to bring up the, the properties box for that particular field and in the format line there we choose currency so this is just like normal formatting process and there's currency there close it down and when we click back on here to see what happens to the table we can see that the calculations have been performed here and also the formatting as well so two lots of chicken and chips at three pounds gives us six pounds and so on and if I was to change one of these values here to say uh, I don't know three lots of cola instead of four we can see that the, the value over here in fact changes to three pounds so that's how to add a calculation to a subform